so I'm doing something a little different today. Um, we are having a an esports Java PvP capture the wool practice later today, but um, I'm in Education Edition because of this year's Hour of Code uh, Minecraft Education Edition world that I want to try out. And it's called A Tale of Two Villages. So I want to check that out. I did assign this to students and it looked kind of fun. But I haven't gone through the whole thing. Uh, so let's check it out and see. Preparing to import world. Yeah. I'm kidding, it's taking a few minutes. There we go, so the import has started. Wow, they really were just preparing. Thought it was already importing. All right, generating world. All right, so this is where it starts. Whoa, yeah, looks beautiful. Okay. Well, right click me, helper bot. That's pretty self-explanatory. Welcome to the research center. Here you will learn how we use AI and coding to prevent fires. Your first task is to use coding to open this gate. Press C to start coding. Wait, this doesn't look like a tale of two villages. Well, I press C, nothing's happening. So there we go. That starts the tutorial. But this isn't the right one. I guess I should have read what I was doing. Yeah, let's finish this. Exit the lesson. Let's try this again. All right, hour of code. Oh, it must be this one. A Minecraft Tale of Two Villages. Jeez. Just like I tell my students, you have to read the instructions. I should follow my own advice. <laughs> I don't always... This looks totally like it. All right. Because I was helping one of my students yesterday with this, and this is what I saw. All right, so this is a tale of two villages. The farming villagers to the east and the fishing villagers to the west. Both towns had enough food and neither saw a reason to interact with their neighbor. This led to both towns fearing anyone or anything that was different. And so the villagers and illagers continued on the same way they always had, even as the world changed around them, until eventually the changes in their world could not be ignored. The villagers could no longer seem to grow enough crops and the illagers found their fish supply dwindling. Neither town knew any other way to survive, and yet they were both too afraid to turn to their neighbor for help. Ooh. Today, the villagers and illagers are still struggling with hard times. Perhaps with your help, they can learn to value their differences and find a new way forward together. Oh, now look at that. That gave way to this dude. Look at that villager there, illager there. You're here. Thank you so much for coming. The villages need your help. It will be hard work, but you won't have to do it alone. My small friend, the agent, will help you through the power of coding. However, before you begin, you must decide how you will communicate with the agent. Choose a coding language from the buttons below. If you're new to coding, I recommend choosing Make Code Blocks. I do like the Made Code Blocks, Make Code Blocks, but I really want to try Python. Excellent. You can now instruct the agent to perform tasks. Try coding the agent to move four spaces forward to the gold block. Press C or tap the agent icon when you're ready to get started. All right. C. So I have to move them for, oh, look at that. So example code read only. 
First, we'll need to learn the basics of moving the agent. For this, we'll use agent.move with parentheses. The agent move function takes one parameter, direction. Valid directions are forward, back, left, right, up, down. Example code. Ah, so it looks like when you put a number sign in front of it in coding language, that means it's a comment, so it does not impact the code. In other words, I could leave those out, and just the white uh, code will be what actually moves the agent. It's nice to have them, though, because that way if you coded something, and you're like me, you're totally a noob and don't know anything, you read your comments, you know what that meant. So if we run this, execution is in process. Ooh, there you are. Hi, little buddy. Okay, let me back up and see what he did. Oh, wait. No, let's not run that one. Let's do my own. Let's move the agent to the goal block by using agent move function four times. Note, you can reset this activity by speaking with the MPC or using the reset world button. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so it looks like code here. Code to move agent forward. So I'm just putting in my own notes there. Of course, they haven't taught us that yet. So if you're totally new to coding, um, you might be wondering what that is and what to do with it. I happen to know, because I've started these types of lessons before. I just uh, haven't gotten very far. As much as I enjoy coding, I don't have a lot of time for it. But this is fun. Fun that I get to type this, and it actually will do something. Oh, there's the reset code, reset world. Ah, yes. All right, let's run this and... Whoa! Excellent! I think you two will work well together. What's this? It seems the agent has a gift for you. Open the coding window to accept the gift, then you can plant it here in the center of the courtyard. Really? Um, okay, code here. Player give. Code to give me a gift from agent. Nice, let's run that. Execution is in progress. All right, what have I got? Where's my gift? Agent. The agent has a gift for you. Press the R and you did that. Okay, let's try it again. Um, oh, did I forget something? Yep, I didn't read the directions. The agent has given you a sapling to commemorate your arrival. To put the sapling in your hotbar, we'll use the player give function. <laughs> it says give, it doesn't say what to give. The function takes two parameters. The item string is the item you want. The count integer, integer is the number of items you'll receive. So stone, all right, it's supposed to be sapling. So let's put sapling. And then the comma goes after the quotation. Not grammatically accurate, but important to note, because if I hadn't done this correctly, the code wouldn't work. OK, error. Giving missing two. Yeah, yeah, I sh should have known. There it is, the sapling. All right, so let's plant it right here. Woohoo! Let this sapling symbolize the hope and prosperity you may bring to these towns. Now it's time to get to work. But before you go, I want to check one last time. Do you want to continue in Python or try out? Ooh, I want to continue in Python. It's fun. Good choice. You're ready to go. Take this Ender Communicator. If you ever need help in an activity or want to quickly travel between areas, you can use this magical device to summon me for help. Oh, I like it. Use one of the two gates that are opening to head into the towns and meet everyone. Don't forget to come back and check on your tree every so often. Good luck. All right, where's my ender thing? Oh, is that it? Carrot on a stick. Oh, there's my ender thing. What, what, what is the carrot on a stick for? So an ender communicator and a carrot will give you a carrot on a stick? I'd rather have the ender. Okay, 
Oh, they're both open. <gasps> so where should I go first? Illager or villager? I don't know. This is a tough choice. I'm just going to go this way because I saw this dude first. And the other place. I couldn't see a person. Prepare the field for farming is available. Ooh, whatever that is. It sounds cool. Whoa, why are there fires? Hello. Okay, I hope that's important. Well, just like most games, somebody with a question mark over their head uh, means they have something to tell you. Hello. Illagers don't know how to farm, but we desperately want to learn. The villagers offered to help us and said we need to till the soil to plant our seeds. Can you help? Can your agent show us how to till this block of land? Okay. I'm sure he can. Oh, is there more? Ah, thanks for your help to till the soil. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh. Well, you just want me to do it. Being ethical means that you understand and live by a social code that treats everyone fairly and respectful. Well, thank you for that, townsfolk. Okay, so I've got to till something. Um. Okay. Till what? The villagers offered to teach the illagers how to farm, but they need help to prepare the land. Use agent till to make the agent till the first two rows of dirt. Okay. And you can do forward, back, left, right. Agent till takes one move and agent moves. So I can move the agent and then till. So agent move forward and then agent till back. We'll move the agent forward and till back. Okay. So here's how they, s oh, that's read only as well. Um, this one will turn right, turn left. Okay. Use a for loop to group actions multiple times. This will move the agent forward and till it behind it nine times. For I in range nine. Whoa. So I guess, I don't know what that means, I. Agent move forward, agent till back, but I'm guessing it'll do forward back nine times. Till the first two rows of farm. Okay, before I do anything this flip window larger window reset editor nice let's see where my um agent is oh okay thank you so you got to till this all right which way are you facing oh he's facing forward oh, i can do this so let's see if he's gonna move forward till back let, let's try it before i do anything because i got to see what it does okay um, well, let's try the 4i in range. Oh, rats, I should have counted. Um, all right, cancel. We've got one. I can't tell how many blocks. I don't want to break them. How do you do this? Oh! Thanks for your help tilling the soil. Is there anything I can do for you? No, I just wanted to see how many blocks there are. Oh, here's a block. All right, so that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They were giving me a hint by saying nine. Three. Okay. So let's do. Hey, hey, hey! I was typing up here. Nine, and then we got to do colon, not semicolon. Oh man, these are important things to know. Okay, so I don't think I need to move the agent, right? Shouldn't I just till where I am? Oh, no, because he's tilling back. You know what? Trust the code. They're not going to make it so it's different from what I actually have to do. They're teaching me by telling me exactly what I have to do. Okay, so I'm going to move him forward. And then I guess he tills what's behind him. I mean, I could have done this different because it looks like the till... Till can do forward, back. So I could have tilled forward two. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking this is going to do. He's going to move forward, till what's behind him, do that nine times, and do this entire spot. But then I want him to go to the other one. Yeah, yeah. So then I want him to turn right and go 
One, two, three. Turn right. Okay. And then... Agent move right. Or is it? Oh, agent turn. Oh, almost messed that one up. Agent turn right. Then agent move. forward. Rats, I forgot how many times. Okay, so if he's going till the end of this, I'm gonna turn right, go one, two, three. I think. Let's try it. But first, I should have done a, um, four eye in range. Three. Let's see if this works. Ha 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 ha. Then move forward three times. Then agent turn right. You know, I can see this is going to be whew, quite a bit of work. For I in range nine. Agent dot move forward and then agent till. Now let's do back again. All right, let's run this code. I think this is gonna work. Oh, wait, before I run it, let me get in position so I can see. I don't want to be in his way. So can I stand? Whoa. Can I stand over here? Okay, dude. We're going to try this. All right, agent. Run your code. Let's see if it works. Oops. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, well, that had a lot of fails. Okay. So nine times got you that far, and then he's standing here. So he needed to go over one turn and then do nine more. Hmm. Okay, this is a little more um, complicated than I thought. Okay, so what happens if I reset the world? Okay, I don't want to reset the code because it's so close. You can reset the activity by speaking with her. Okay, I want to reset the activity. But will I lose my code? Rats. Okay, so let's review what it did. So it definitely did the one behind it. So it moved up one, tilt back. Moved up one, tilt back. Moved up one, tilt back. So if I get it to move up one, tilt back, it'll end here. Then I can make him go here. But then he has to move up one before he can run the code again. Ooh, boy. Okay. I think I'm ready. Okay, let's reset the world and see what happens. Ah, it moves him back there, but it doesn't get rid of my code. All right, so. He needed to turn right, but then I don't need this. He just needed to move um, forward once, right? Let's think that through. So he comes up. And I wanted to make this 10. Yeah. And there's multiple ways you can do this. I just want to try this way. So if it goes 10, he ends up on, on a dark block. I don't know what that is. But then all the soil is tilled. So he's going to turn right, move forward. Then he has to turn right. Agent dot move forward again to be standing on the correct block. 
Okay, once he does that, he's ready to do this ten times. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Oh, okay. This is exciting. Alright, I really love this, um, Hour of Code activity. Oh my goodness, it did it! Ah! It did it all! Oh my goodness! I thought I... Whoa, that's cool! Okay, equity is not about giving everyone the same thing. It is about making sure everyone has what they need to be successful. Yes, that is so true. Though the villagers and illagers had similar amounts of land, the illagers needed help before the two groups had the same chance to be successful. Now that your agent has helped till their soil, the illagers have the same opportunities that the villagers do. Don't forget to go and check your tree. I bet it's growing. Okay, ooh, fast travel. Where would you like to go? Um, my tree? Activity one of six complete. <laughs> one down, five to go. Let's see how my tree is doing. Oh, whoa, the tree is growing. Dude, I, oh, yeah, that is quite, quite the growth. So now that I've uh, helped the villagers, let's check out the villagers. Build a dock is available. Oh, hello, Mr. Question Mark person. Hi friend, fishing is something we've never been good at. The illagers from the next town over are offering to help us learn how, but they say we need a dock first. Makes sense. Can you help us build a dock at the edge of the shore? We'll just need the outline. See if you can build it six blocks long and four blocks wide. Oh, exciting. Where? I guess I have to find my agent. Agent dude. Where are you? Whoa, thanks for giving it a shot. Come back. <gasps> Area's been reset. Oh, I must have left. I'm sorry. I went the wrong way. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. Is it right here? Oh, well, that makes sense. Oh, I see a fish. Okay, that's a good place for a dock. Where's my agent? I guess he's not here yet. Oh, there you are. You just have to hit the C button. Okay, uh, so we've got build a dock. Build the outside edges of the dock using the agent give. To give agent a block. Oh, I gotta give him a block. And then agent place to place the block. Agent turn to turn the agent and agent move to move the agent. The agent give function takes three parameters. Uh, the item you wanna give, how many you want to give, and the inventory slot. Oh, you pick the inventory slot. That's cool. The agent place function takes two parameters. Um, slot number, which inventory slot the agent should use ah, to know what to place. And the direction you want the agent to place the item. Valid directions are forward, back, left, right, up and down. So an example is give planks uh, two planks in slot one. Move forward, place slot one, which is planks, down. Down. So you can place forward. What happens if you place forward versus down? That's interesting. I don't know. And then you can move and turn. So a sample code is move forward, move back, move left, move right. And you could use a loop. I like the looping. Looping so you don't have to write the same thing over and over again if you need them to do it five times. Um, and they picked the number five, but last time they picked nine and ten worked better. But I'll start with five and see what happens. So we want to move forward, give, and then place. Really? Can I just give it to him once and then have him place multiple times? I don't know. In coding, I have learned that you want to do the same action in as few lines of code as possible. That is more elegant and makes it so your code is not super long and, and primed to, to have bugs. Uh, so, ooh, hmm, this is 
a good a good problem to have. Okay. So let's see, what shall we do? Um, so I'm guessing I gotta give them planks and I wanna put it in slot one. And I don't know how many planks to give them. If I wanna do an outline, five, four, five. I don't know, I don't know. Well, let's just try it. Okay, let's start with, he, I see where he is, so he doesn't need to move yet. I wanna give him first. I want him to have the planks. Um, planks, right? Comma goes outside of the um, punctuation there. Okay, so I want to give him, ooh, let's say, 5, 10. Let's give him 15. If he has extra, it's okay. And let's put it in slot 1. All right, so once I run the code, he'll have the planks. So that's good. And then once I move him forward, oh, yeah, he's got to move forward every time. So now I can do for I in range. Um, let's do five. Because they have five. I'm going to copy that. So agent has to move forward. Oh. Oh. Okay. Then agent has to place planks, which is in slot one, and you told me to do down, so I'm going to do down. All right, so that'll get him going out. I need an outline, right? Build the outside edges of the dock extending from the cobblestone, which will be six blocks long, four blocks wide. Thank you, so I need six. Okay. Done with that. Now we're going to do, oh. Another for I in range. We're going to do it four this time. Uh, oh, he's got to turn first. So let's do agent turn right. Okay, this is a lot of fun. Oh, did I just add another line of code? Okay, I don't need extra lines here. Okay. So now agent can move forward and it'll place the block. So I gave him 15, but he needed six plus four is 10 plus six is 16. Oh, he's one short. So let's give him 16. Then he'll use them all. Oh, I love this. All right. Agent place slot one, which is planks, down, because I'm assuming placing forward just puts it right in front. Which is cool, but it's not what we want. All right, then we'll turn my agent again. I wonder if I could put all this into less code. <laughs> I don't know how. And then we're going to turn right again. Sounds like right turns work here. And then we'll do another for I in range uh, six, because we're going to come back to the dock. OK, let's get out there. What What happened? What did I do wrong? Oh, it's in parentheses, uh, in the, the quotations. It should just be six. And I forgot the colon. Oh, dear. What happens when I forget things? OK, so let's do agent move forward, then agent, place. This is so exciting to be able to do um, Python. I've always wanted to play with Python and learn it. Slot one, down. OK, I think this is going to do it. <laughs> All right, and I'm in a position where I can watch. OK, little agent. What did I just tell you to do? What happened? Oh dear. What, what are you doing over there? That did not work the way I intended. All right, let's see what happened. So four was too much because he's already placed one. So that counts as one. I didn't think that one all the way through. OK, so that'll get him there. I think this should work. But why didn't he place? 
He should have 16 planks. I don't know why he ran out. Well, let's try this, see what happens. <gasps> oh no, stop, stop. I forgot to reset. Dude, dude. Okay, now let's run it. That worked? No. I thought it missed. Oh. Equity is not about giving everyone the same thing. It is about making sure everyone has what they need to be successful. Before you built the dock, the villagers didn't have what they needed to learn to fish. Uh, with your dock and some lessons from the illagers, the villagers learned to fish for themselves. <laughs> Don't forget to go check on your tree. I'll bet it's growing. All right. So I just wanted to see this, though, because cool, my agent did this. How fun was that? What is that? Oh, <gasps> Fish. They're catching fish. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Well, let's head back to the tree. Ooh. Stage two of six. How's my tree? It's going to get bigger. I guess it is bigger. Oh, yeah, look at that. How cool. Where do I go to next? Well, you know, that, uh, that's that been fun. I'm going to end this because I got an idea of how this works. I'll finish the uh, last four challenges later. Um, but uh, I want to share this with my students in case they get stuck. They can see how to do it. Um, but if they're Minecrafters... They should figure this out with no problem. So with that, I'm going to end this stream so I can get ready for our practice. Um, I think I'll, I'll stream it. And I see that Dylan's on. Hey, Dylan. Uh, so yeah, Dylan, I don't know if you were trying this Minecraft education coding activity, but it's a lot of fun. All right, well, I'll be back probably in uh, about half an hour or so with our practice. If I decide to stream it, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll get 10 people. All right, this is Gonzalez signing off.